I'm Michelle Grant, Vice President of the Victorian Applied Learning Association, NARA, and I'm particularly delighted to be able to welcome you here today as it brings together two key areas of education that I'm really passionate about, and that is re-engagement of young people and the significance and potential of their health. Professionally, I work at Victoria University as the manager of the Youth Transitions Unit, which offers educational and training programs, including their health, and services to young people in the West. That's mainly early school leavers and at risk youth and call youth as well. But at the moment, I'm on the secondment, working for two departments, the Department of Innovation, Industry and Regional Development, DERD, and also the Department of Education and Early Childhood Development on establishing and creating a new policy framework for 15 to 24 year olds. We know that engagement is crucial to ensuring that young people have every chance of succeeding and making strong transitions and career choices. The work you do is immensely important, high challenge, but high reward too. And Valor is particularly excited about being able to work with the department and with you to support re-engagement programs. So just a little bit about VALA, and hopefully some of you may be members. Victorian Applied Learning Association is the peak organisation for applied learning practitioners. It offers leadership, development and advocacy for educators of applied learning across all sectors. Established in 2005 in response to the rapid growth of in Victorian applied learning programs in post-compulsory education sphere, and it now supports over a thousand applied learning educators. So you might like to consider joining um, Vala. There are application forms up told in more packs, and you can also download these from the website, look at our e-newsletter and sign up for it. Come along to other great PD events. There's a conference next week, actually, at this venue, the Vista Vala Conference. And there's also our AGM on the 28th of October, and it would be fantastic to have representation from um, the Calvary Engagement Programs, even on our committee. It's a volunteer committee, and we have a small dedicated staff team. Uh, some of whom are here today. Don, who you met at the registration desk, there's also Lina Hunter and Janet Hanston, who's here as well, and I think Susan is here too. Yes, they're all sitting in a row, easy to spot. So those are the people that you can go to throughout the day if you have anything that you need. Just about the project, the Youth Transitions Division of um, DCD has engaged Vala to undertake a project that DCD Day is part of. The purpose of the project is to provide teachers in re-engagement programs with the opportunity to collaborate and share good practice with other teachers via a formal network and to further develop their skills in delivering re-engagement programs through participation in professional development tailored specifically to meet your needs. Many of you work in fairly isolated situations and today is an opportunity to meet with others from across Victoria who work with similar cohorts of students, share ideas and strategies and resources, find out about resources and services, take part in professional development sessions that you indicated you were interested in when Vala contacted you. On re-engagement programs, I'd like to particularly thank the Fresh Program, Spirit West Services, for the photos that you've been looking at um, on the loop behind me. So the Fresh Program is a community education service aimed at young people who are experiencing difficulties with mainstream education and who are at risk of disengaging and perhaps the person from Spirit West might like to wave their hand so people can go get over there if you'd like to talk to someone about some of the images that you've seen. They're fantastic and we thank you very much for providing those. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce Edmund Nissen. Edmund is General Manager of Youth Transitions in the Victorian Department of Education and Early Child Development. He has responsibility for a wide range of programs relating to senior secondary education vocational and applied learning, career education and youth engagement, quite a bit. Prior to this, he was heavily involved in developing the Victorian Government's blueprint for education and early childhood development. Edmund has a master's degree in public administration and has been advising the Victorian Government on education training and other areas of social policy for over a decade, which 
please welcome Edwin Nicholas. 